A former Activision analyst intern has just spoken out about skill-based matchmaking and related Activision patents in a series of videos on TikTok. In this video, I'm going to break down what was said and provide some context for some of his statements. Before we get started, be sure to say thanks to Maverick GG for providing this information to us. You can follow him at Maverick GG on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. Before we get started, I should note that I wasn't able to find a way to prove that he used to work at Activision. I reached out on Twitter for proof, but he never responded, so take that for what it's worth. But considering he also most recently was an analyst for a sports team in the same area, according to his Twitter account, I think it's safe to believe him. And also, a lot of the information he presented here isn't brand new, and we've had theories on this stuff for a long time. He more or less just confirmed it and put a more corporate perspective on it. So let's get started. So Maverick starts his discussion by calling out a patent that is often misinterpreted by the Call of Duty community. The patent in question is called Methods and Systems for Incentivizing Team Cooperation in Multiplayer Gaming Environments, and outlines technology that can determine a player's skill in cooperative game modes and automatically adjust the difficulty of that game session on a per-player basis. For example, high-skilled players may be targeted by enemies more often than lower-skilled players, but they're also rewarded more at the end, so nothing really out of the ordinary there. But a lot of people like to compare this patent to Call of Duty multiplayer, but it's not directly relatable. The takeaway here is that while this patent doesn't directly refer to PvP systems like Call of Duty matchmaking, it is still important to be aware that this technology exists and might exist in some form in Call of Duty. But Maverick emphasizes that this patent is not the driving factor of why Call of Duty feels terrible to play at some times, nor is it directly related to skill-based matchmaking. He thinks there are a couple reasons why the matchmaking feels terrible this time around. The main one we're going to talk about today is skill-based matchmaking, but in his videos he did point out that Activision hasn't updated their lag compensation systems or their server quality in years. So that's another reason why the game sometimes feels off to many people, but let's dive into the really juicy stuff. Next, he goes into why skill-based matchmaking exists. First of all, he reiterates that Call of Duty has almost always had skill-based matchmaking in some form. And this should be obvious to anyone who plays multiplayer games. Almost every multiplayer game has some implementation of SBMM, the extent of which is usually not noticeable. He goes on to say that the reason Call of Duty has been feeling so bad lately is not due to SBMM, but an entirely different matchmaking system unofficially called Engagement Optimized Matchmaking. He also asks people not to get mad at Treyarch for this, because it's entirely implemented by Activision. There are hundreds of people working on these matchmaking algorithms alongside monetization and business development teams. These aren't game designers, these are business people. They track everything from in-game movements, to login times, to how often you rage quit and re for another match. As far as Activision is concerned, they don't care how much you rage quit as long as you still join another match at the end of the day. The purpose of these systems is to make every match a loot box. As many of you know, loot boxes were a system that plagued many multiplayer and single player games for a long time. Maverick goes on to say that Activision is intentionally implementing loot box like matchmaking systems that are designed to keep you playing for that one more win feeling that you feel like you're owed after several tough matches or even losing ones. He even says that they have it tuned to the point that they know you're about to rage quit and will give you a match with a high probability of winning in your next one. There are win-loss patterns that Activision has determined, statistically, keep people playing the longest. And the longer you play the game, the more likely you are to buy microtransactions. This is coupled with the fear of missing out that battle pass systems provide. Once you spend $10 on a battle pass you have to complete, you're more likely to feel like your time spent in-game is justified, even if you're losing, and the cycle continues. These systems aren't inherently designed to put you in harder lobbies, but that is a side effect of Activision trying to find you your perfect win-loss engagement cycle to keep you playing for as long as possible. Here's where I stand on this. I'm sick of feeling like a lab rat. 
In Cold War, I feel like every match is predetermined and my skill and growth as a player don't matter anymore. Like, did I really earn that 10 kill streak, or did the algorithm just make me want to feel good this game? Did I just go 8 and 20 because I suck, or is the algorithm just trying to see how far it can push me before I log off for the night? I go into every match thinking about whether it's a fair fight or not. Every match is designed to make me feel some sort of predetermined way by the end of it, with the end goal of just getting me to spend money. I honestly thought, or maybe I had hoped, that this system was just a fluke in Modern Warfare 2019. I thought, okay, Infinity Ward just tuned the matchmaking differently in this game. Treyarch games always feel better to me anyway, I'll have more fun with Black Ops Cold War. Well, that just isn't the case. It's clear now that this manipulative direction is the future of the franchise. I've been enjoying Call of Duty for years, but I think this is truly the end for me. I might drop into whatever free-to-play content they add to Warzone every once in a while if I'm bored, but the $60 game purchases are stopping. But I'm just one man. What do you guys and gals think about this? And if you enjoyed this video, help me beat the YouTube algorithm by liking and subscribing. Peace out.